The Road Not Taken, Part 1. Today's the day Pete, Chirp, and Quack agreed to get together and exercise. <coughs> this doesn't look much like exercise. <coughs> Quack, wake up. Let's start. Is Peep here? <laughs> no, but I can't wait anymore. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, quad. Two. Two is next. One, two. We agreed to do this together. Starting without Peep would be rude. <sighs> should have been here a long time ago. Hi! Uh, I'm ready to exercise. Uh, Ow! 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 <clears throat> that looks like fun. Was that the first exercise? No. no. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on. That didn't hurt. I don't weigh anything. If you didn't weigh anything, you'd be a balloon, not a bird. But more importantly, why are you so late? You mean you finished exercising already? We haven't even started. Oh, good. Then I'm not late. Yeah, but... Hey, that actually makes sense. Nice going, Peep. But we've been waiting all morning. When I go to your can, do I keep you waiting? But I came here the minute I woke up. Pete told them how he got up with the sun and started walking to Chirp's bush right away. What a nice story. And with a happy ending. <laughs> he got here. But what took so long? The sun came up hours ago. I don't know. Everybody follow me. Chirp led them straight to Peep's can, which didn't take them very long at all. Wow, that was fast. We were waiting for you much longer than that. Well, I didn't walk exactly the same way you did. Hmm. Of course! Maybe Peep walks slower than you, Chirp. Let's compare. To see who walked faster, Quack drew a start line and a finish line. All right, on three, start walking very normally. One, two, and... Are you ready? We're ready. Okay, where was I? And three. This is the first normal walking race I've ever been in. No talking. Concentrate on being normal. Mm. Ah, I blinked! Can you go back and do it again? Stop. It was close to a tie. That's good enough. Good enough for you. But ducks are very exacting birds. I know that's exactly the speed I walked this morning because it was hard to get up the molehills without slowing down. Molehills? There aren't any molehills between your can and my bush. Hmm. Wait! I've got it! No! Ah, don't yell! Ducks have very sensitive hearing parts. So what have you got? Follow me! Ah, I feel like we just did this! Chirp led them back to her bush. Yarn? That's what you meant by I've got it? You've got yarn? I thought you figured out why I was late. Follow me! What's she doing? I don't know, but I must have missed the announcement that today was Follow the Red Bird Day. Chirp led them straight back to Peep's house. 
We're gonna wear a path in the ground if we keep doing this. Okay, that piece of yarn equals the distance between my bush and here, right? Now peep. Do exactly what you did after you woke up. I came out of my can and started to walk this way. Then I saw the bunnies. So I ran over to say hi. When will this make sense? Shush and push. Remember chasing a butterfly over the hollow log? And following a caterpillar up and down the mole hills? Remember kicking fallen crab apples? Making footprints in the sand? And finally arriving at Chirp's Bush. to do with this. It shows us why Peep was late. That yarn measures the straight path to Peep's can. And that measures the twisty way that Peep walked. I get it. The straight way is much shorter. Exactly. I'm tired. The way Peep takes to get here for exercise is more exercise than exercise is exercise! I'm tired, too. Let's exercise tomorrow. And now I know how to get here faster. Follow the yarn. Quack, help me roll up the longer yarn so Pete doesn't follow the wrong path tomorrow. I'll be glad when Follow the Red Bird Day is over. <laughs> I'm a duck. You're supposed to follow the duck. <laughs> so that's how Peep discovered the straight path is the shortest path. Look! A dragonfly! But whether he could stick to it is a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs>